mood swings happen to the best of us. If you find that you're going along, having a great day, things are going well for you, the sun's shining, the birds are singing, and then suddenly without any rhyme or reason, you are stormy clouds, you're thunder and lightning, you're mad, 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 mean mom, without any reason why, well, it may be time to check the thyroid. Mood swings are a frequent symptom that you're not converting T4 to T3 well. Now remember that conversion happens in the liver and a lot of us don't do that conversion well. And if we don't have enough T3, well, T3 is responsible for managing serotonin in the brain. So serotonin gets a lot of fanfare. This is a neurotransmitter that helps us feel calm and collected and cozy and like we're sitting on a beach with a drink that has an umbrella in it. Everything's great when our serotonin levels are good. So T3 helps that serotonin work in the brain. And if you're not getting enough T3, well, you're not going to get enough serotonin. And that results in that pendulum swing of, I don't know why I'm swinging back and forth with these emotions. There is no reason I should be so mad or so sad or so happy. And then down again, that is what is happening is because the brain's not getting what it needs. So my favorite place to start fixing this is in the gut. Now, oftentimes the same infections that suppress T4 to T3 conversion will also hijack our ability to make serotonin. So we've got a double whammy. Number one, we're not making enough serotonin. Number two, we don't have enough T3 to actually deliver the serotonin. In cases like this, doctors will often prescribe antidepressants. They'll give us a drug that helps serotonin recycle through the brain. So the small amount of serotonin that we do have will get used over and over again, and it can help with symptoms. It can make us feel better. It can help with mood swings and outlook, and it can help us feel really happy. But the problem is we didn't treat the real cause and it will never help your thyroid function better. So my favorite test to look at both of these things is the organic acids test. There's a section on that test that looks at serotonin production. And I have rarely seen a test come back for someone who is on thyroid medication with a good serotonin reading. So most women do have struggles with producing enough serotonin and then having the thyroid hormone available to help the serotonin work. So once we can identify what's going on in the gut that is preventing both of these things from happening, we can create a protocol to reverse it and to help both things work better. And the result of that, well, you're going to feel like you're sitting on a beach with your feet in the sand, waves crashing by mood swings will be a thing of the past. So if you want to learn more about the testing that I use in my program, I'll drop the link before, below the video and we will get you feeling great with your mood, get you on that sandy beach. Everything's going to be awesome. Talk to you soon.